How are you? Are you filming me? I'm sorry? Are you filming me? Yes. Shut it off. Please shut it off. I don't want to be filmed. Shut it off? No, we can't shut it off. Listen, get out of here. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Is it, there's National Grinch She's Day. There's National Grinch Day today. Is that to you tell... You know what? Can you please <laughs> shut that off? No. No, it's silly. What do you mean, no? Get out of here. <laughs> Listen. Can't be serious right now. How are you? Hello. Look at that so they're celebrating National Grinch Day at 4.15 in the town hall steps. Are you the Can Grinch you this year? Can you get out of here now? Oh. Ma'am. You know what? I'm going to hit the panic button. You're going to hit the panic button? Yeah. Can you get out? Get out! Oh, ma'am. It's not going to be good. Don't do that. You're going to look very... Oh, All right, ma'am. So All right. You're going to have to call someone now. Unfortunately, she's in trouble. If she's willing to apologize, I won't press charges. Okay. That's... Very kind of you. I appreciate that. It's Christmas. Okay. Um, so the apology's not gonna happen. Okay. So Steps for. Yeah. So she um, received a misdemeanor summons, which is basically a court appearance. It's okay. A court ticket. Um, so she'll be going to court to answer for the disorderly conduct charge, which is the charge appropriate in this specific situation. Um, that will be an arraignment date. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of absolute tyranny. This is an employee from the Ridgefield Town Hall in Ridgefield, Connecticut. After having an enjoyable audit, having great interaction with the staff, we came to her. And let me tell you, this Grinch absolutely stole Christmas. She demanded we stop filming, insisted that it was illegal, and that we needed permission to continue. When Karen Kringle didn't get her way, she threatened to hit the panic button. But free Americans exhibiting their rights in a town hall governed by the people was just far too much for this Karen. She grabbed a large, thick folder, approached me, and struck me in the face, actually drawing blood. It should be noted that Karen Kringle demanded the presence of the police, and when they did show up, we did our best to try and mediate the situation and teach a lesson. I told the lieutenant in charge of the investigation that if she would simply apologize, I would forego pressing charges. But tyrants did what tyrants do, and Karen simply couldn't apologize for what she did, so she doubled down, refused to apologize, and was charged with disorderly conduct. Another public employee that feels if their irrational demands aren't met, they can just go around attacking people. I guess that's how they do things at the Ridgefield Town Hall in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Watch to the end. What's going on, guys? We're in Ridgefield, Connecticut at the Ridgefield Town Hall. I'm with Wandering Hippie conducting a First Amendment audit. Let's take a look. Alright, so I don't think there's anything downstairs. I think that the stairs would be preferable so you don't lose your stream. Oh, there is some stuff down here. Perfect. Face covering and then required. If you're not back Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Why'd they stick you in the basement? So I want to know. <laughs> Can we get you upstairs? The basement's like a bummer. Like, uh, like two windows. You seem very nice. I know. You have to walk down a hall to see what the outside looks like. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? No. Thank you. Here. We're just taking a look around. Okay. Nothing. This is the executive center. Cool. Oh, very cool. In the basement. Yeah. So what are we what are we doing here? What does it look like we're doing? I don't know, but I'm working. But nice to see you guys. Thank <laughs> All you. right. Keep working, man. Well, you know why? It's, uh, I got a deadline, so I apologize. Go ahead. No, do your thing, man. Thank you. Have a good day. We call, we call down here the executive center. Well, I think you guys should be upstairs. There's some sunlight. Especially with such a nice lady like this. You're stuck in the basement. I, I, thank nice you picture. very much. I appreciate that. All right. See, even like an office, the guy's got to work in an office, and it has like a, an emergency latch on the door. I just feel like you guys should have, you know... Maybe we could decorate or something. Yeah? Here? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Somebody else. <laughs> Somebody else. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear. You too. Oh, well, there's the archives. If we find someone that's not nice to us, we're going to ask that they go downstairs. <laughs> and let her come back upstairs. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a, a Christmas swap. See, this is so much more nice and festive up here. You know? 
See, look at how nice this is compared to them being stuck downstairs. Camera ready. No, you guys don't have to freshen up. Oh, look at it. There you go. See? There you go. Very nice. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Are you here for the appearance? For what appearance? I can't say. It's kind of a surprise. Well, wait, hold on. What is going on? You seem so excited. You got super glue. Tell us. I am not. Neither confirm nor deny anything is going on this afternoon. At what time would something maybe not be going on? Um, I thought it was two or three o'clock. Not really sure. Oh, we want to tell all of our subscribers what it is. Your subscribers? Yeah. Who are your subscribers? Um, I don't know all hundred thousand of their names. Mm, mm, okay. You know what? You'd probably have to check with the first selectman's office. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah. Is is it Santa? Um, can't confirm or deny that. Can you find out if I made the list? <laughs> you know the list? Making a list, which checking list? it twice. Which list? Which list? Go ahead. Find out who's no, naughty no. or nice. Yeah, is he coming to town? Which list is Someone's this? coming to town. I can't say who. Oh, well, I know it's, it can't be the royals or the president because they're over in they're Boston. Not, right. Yeah. Who's, who's here? Is there some elving right now? Oh no! Of which? You got to get the gorilla glue. It's so much better. Eighty six thousand. It works on everything. I, I do I do love gorilla glue. Oh, what is it? Making art here? It dries so white and fluffy. See the the decorations are so nice. No, the gorilla glue. Gorilla glue blows up. Yeah. Yeah. You have to get it wet first. See, I'm gonna see if people can help us finish. Hello. How are you? So there's something going on today. They have something going on. What time does it go down? What time are they doing it? Are they doing like a Christmas thing or something they were talking about? I don't know if Oh, everyone's so secretive. There's something going on today and I want to know if Santa's coming or something. Oh. Right, he's making a list, exactly. Sorry? Oh, we're just taking pictures and keeping records of our visit. Thank you. All right. Um, you were just talking about the uh, decorations out here. Yeah. I saw an interesting um, on uh, Antiques Roadshow. Uh huh. Uh, a woman opens up a box from her mother. I, I need to know. I know. I'm, I'm like, I, I can't her. not be told. Right? She looks happy. Like, uh, especially when you come up Anna, and say that. Anna and Matthew, Anna and the girls sent me a wrapped gift for my hundred thousand subscriber celebration, and I had to put it in a hidden part of the house that I don't regularly see because I can't stand. Uh, yeah, I need to know. We'll come back. We're gonna, we're gonna you know, we're gonna conduct an investigation and see if we can find out what's uh, because what, there's some big thing going on today. Let's see if the tax collector can help us. What a beautiful place. Hello. How are you today? Um, is there something going on today? Like they're having some, they're filming something today or something? I heard them talking about it in the other office. This is such like a, this, I don't know if it's like some holiday celebration, but I just heard the ladies next door talking about it. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Cause if Santa Claus is coming, I want to be here. Are you, are you on the list? Are you on the list? You know, he's making a list, checking it twice. You go, tag, you're it. <laughs> Gonna find out who's not naughty or nice. nice. All right, thank you. What's going on? We got a senator or somebody coming here? Someone's like, where's he? Is this the town administrator's office? Maybe they can help us. 
No one seems to know what's going on. Hello. How's it going? Do you know what the big secret is? There's something going on. She said there's, there's a, an, an event going on at 3 Today, o'clock. 4.15. 4.15. What is it? There's going to be a proclamation. A proclamation? Yeah. About what? Well, it's annual Grinch Day. It's annual Grinch Day? Oh, shit. Oh, Josh, it's okay. a Grinch right here. I'm not the Grinch. It's... Oh, I'm so excited. Who's the Grinch? None of you. The Grinch is the Grinch. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that makes sense, because I thought it was about the list. You know the list. Which list is He's that? making a list, checking it twice. He's going to find out. He's naughty and nice, exactly. <laughs> oh. It's the Grinch. That's not good. That's <laughs> scary. He's always grumpy. All right. You're looking for someone? Oh, no, we were just taking a look around, and we heard about that, and we love to film, you know, especially holiday stuff, so I was just figuring out what time it was. 4.15. And it's going to be here? Yeah, on Town Hall Steps. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Three people have helped me sing that song so far. Thank you, Liz, for coming. There's another floor. Tony, Emily, Matt King, Ed Butts. This is much more positive than the last place for sure. It's Grinch Day. It's the Grinch Day. Someone's in there. Look at all the beautiful eyes. Human resources. Beautiful place. Humans and human resources. Social services. What's this office? Oh, it's got a lock in the door. That's obviously not public. Oh, no, you're all, you're all right. We're looking at the sign and figuring out where we're going. Oh, okay, or I can tell you where to go in a polite way. Um, yeah, no, you, you seem, <laughs> see, yeah. see very, but, um, So, is there a town administrator in this, or is there a mayor here? Neither. Neither. Was it a selectman? selectman? Which way is that office? This way. Okay, thanks very much. Yep, I don't think he's here. Though. Oh, okay, bummer. Yeah. Did you? Know, did you make the list? Of. Making a list, checking it twice. <laughs> What's the next word? I, mean, I, I can tell you where to go still, but not in a nice way. <laughs> Come on, tell us. It's going to find out who's... I'm telling you why. <laughs> hey, this is my what... elf helper. Dif- different word. song. You're very good, though. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day. Have a great day. <laughs> you want to try the next one? No. I can just read it. Some holiday stuff here. Oh yeah, that's old. That's pretty cool. Hello. Hi. How are you? Filming me? I'm sorry. Are you filming me? Yes. Shut it off. Please shut it off. I don't want to be filmed. Shut it off. No, we can't shut it off. Listen, get out of here. I'm not kidding. (laughs) Is there's National Grinch Day? There's National Grinch Day today. Is that to tell? Can you please shut that off? (laughs) No, no, it's silly. What do you mean no? Get out of here. (laughs) Listen. Be serious right now. How are you? Hello. Look at that face. Man. So they're celebrating National Grinch Day at 4.15 in the town hall steps. Are you the Can Grinch you this year? Can you get out of here now? Oh, Ma'am. You know what? I'm going to hit the panic button. You're going to hit the panic button? Yeah. Can you get out of yeah, here, please? Out. <laughs> it's silly. Are you the first selectman? No, I'm not. Oh, no. We were coming around asking questions about the, uh, the annual Grinch Day that you're having yeah. at 4.15, but... I guess before we got to that, uh, she you know what? I'm gonna lost her mind. Get the fuck out of here. Holy Get spirit. out. Oh, ma'am, it's not going to be good. Don't do that. You're going to look very... Oh, All right, ma'am. So... All right. You're going to have to call someone now. Unfortunately, she's in trouble. Wow, I don't think I got that on film. But I do. Oh, please call the police. He, he saw it. You saw that. Perfect. I got it on film. Please call the police. I am. Get out of here. That's assault and battery, ma'am. Well, we just had, um, we have some gentlemen up here with some cameras on. If you could send uh, somebody up quickly. Well, don't forget that we were just assaulted. Tell them that. 
Uh, it's a pretty natural Grinch day, and they're filming us, and uh, one of the employees is pretty upset about it. And assaulted us. Don't forget that. It's on camera. Don't assist in the crime. No, he's just two gentlemen for National Grinch Day. We've asked, we've asked them several times to turn the cameras off, and we just haven't. <laughs> Do you want to mention the assault? In the um, purchasing <laughs> office. Oh, she's gonna be in trouble now. Damn, sorry. Sorry for her. That was yeah, sad. you assaulted someone right yeah. in the face. I don't know if I got that. I might. Have, I, I got it. I might have to. I got it. When people get close to me, I hold the phone up high. Can anybody in the audience tell me if uh, you, if we got that on film? Oh, we got it. All right. I know Josh says he got it. Did anybody else see that assault? Did you wanna Did you wanna tell them that 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 lady assaulted us and we have it on camera? Yeah, thank you, sir. Or did you want to assist? Anybody assist her in her crime. Gotcha. Well, that hurt, ma'am. Yeah, I don't get that. You, you know you can't just hit people, right? Just a camera. You can't just hit people, ma'am. Are you the first selectman? Uh, no. No? Excuse me. Go ahead. So... Yeah, sure. He's going to give you the lowdown. Yeah, you guys are in kind of hot water because she just assaulted me with a file. Wow. I've never seen anything like that. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Oh, man. Wow, Josh. That's crazy. We're in here singing, we're in here singing Christmas carols and all sorts of fun stuff, and she wants to assault? Yeah, we got all that on camera. We I sure do. People, you know, the whole time. Sure do. Did you guys do like a tour or something? Uh, no, we were we were having a tour. We, we were looking up about National Grinch Day, having fun with all the different officers, being really polite. And then this lady uh, just assaulted me and hit me in the face. So now she's kind of in big big trouble. So it went from it's a good thing that you guys are celebrating National Grinch Day because I think she's a perfect honoree honor honoree for it. But so, yeah, she just assaulted I'm us. Come this way. I'm just gonna wait here now until the police come because yeah. Why don't we wait downstairs? If you don't I'm just gonna mind. wait right here. This is a public office. I'm gonna wait here until they get here. I think that it was you know not very professional, sir, that you would explain that we're filming, but you left out the fact that someone with a huge audience. I heard what you said. You didn't say that she assaulted us, did you? Wow, Josh. Lawsuit. Lawsuit. Arrest. Lawsuit. <sighs> Assaulted. Did you see her hit me in the face? I bet you missed that, right? Don't worry, my camera got it. Everything okay? Um, well, no. Not really. Can I help you guys with it. something? Oh, the, are you in the administrative assistant? Actually, perfect. You can. So we were uh, asking questions about the Grinch Day that you're holding at 415 in the front steps. Okay. Having a good time with the different offices. And uh, this young lady over here told us that we couldn't film in the town hall. Then she proceeded on two different cameras to assault me and hit me in the face. Okay. So okay. that's where so we're at now. This, this gentleman, I guess, forgot to tell the police when he called them that uh, an assault took place. He only, he only decided to mention that we were in here exhibiting a First Amendment right. But. Okay, so what was your question about Grinch Day? Well, I don't have a question on that anymore. I guess my question now is what's going to happen to this lady that just assaulted someone on two different cameras. You know, especially if she's in her, I guess, you guys just missed an assault. I guess that's what we're doing. Not a good look. Not good. I mean, we were singing Christmas songs with all the other employees and yeah. So you initially, your goal in here to come in was to do what again was to. Well, we, we heard about something that was going on, so we were trying to figure out what exactly it gotcha. was that was going on. Okay. And then we found out it was National Grinch Day, and we wanted to figure out a little bit more about it. Okay. So every office sang some Christmas carols with us, and we had some fun and looked at some decorations. And then we got to her office, and she immediately told us it was illegal to film, and then she exited her office and hit me in the face. Is my face red? Can you see it? It's not, but okay. Oh, oh there is a scratch. Josh. Is there? I swear to God, right well, there. Let me look in the mirror. Scratch on your face. Wow. Okay, so oh, there is a face? scratch on my face, guys. Yeah. Look at that, right there. Oh yeah, that's a salt, man. Unreal. All right. We're gonna have to yeah. figure that out. Happy. Yeah, Mammy, I would, I would not, you know, be, be disorderly. You already assaulted someone. There's a mark on my face. It's on two separate cameras. 
You don't get to use violence, you know, whether or not you're a female or a male. Are. You don't get to exu exert violence on people for engaging in a constitutionally protected right. You just got your town in hot water. Legally, you're personally in hot water. Is there something I can do for you guys at the moment? Well, we're just waiting for the police. Yeah, I just guess we're waiting for them, and then I'm going to have to contact... I'm going to have to contact my lawyer. We'll have to figure out what the police do first. Is the, Do you guys... Um, is that acceptable for her to strike a member of the public? Here, I don't know what happened. So I'm well, going off of what it's you okay guys to are hit saying. People, period, though? So, is um, it acceptable for your employees you, to hit people? Okay? Of course, right? Of course so. <sighs> I'm just here to see if there's something I can do to be helpful. Yeah, I just... Well, I mean... You you're very nice. We'll see what the the officers have to say and then we'll we'll go from there. We'll probably have to get some information. Hello, Lieutenant. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Not too oh, I'm not great. Okay. Um so we're at the different offices having a good time, singing Christmas carols, asking about the Grinch Day. And we get to this office right here, uh, on your on your immediate left. Uh at that point she tells us it's illegal to film. Uh we cannot film. She then gets up from her chair, walks up to me, hits me in my face. You can see the scratch right there. Okay. Got it on two different camera angles. So um, at this point, we stayed here waiting for you. So we want to figure out what's next. She just assaulted someone. So okay. I'm going to let you guys do your thing and stand so by. When you came in here, what were you, you said you were singing and doing what? Oh, no, we just heard that there was some sort of thing going on today between three and four. So we came in asking different offices, like, what, what was going on, and we did fun things like making a list, and then the other person said, checking it twice, just having we some fun. Four people actually Spreading said the, said the some Christmas cheer, okay. filming the town hall, the decorations, all that. Okay. And then when we got to this young lady's office, uh, she got up out of her chair and uh, told us it was illegal to film, and then she hit me in the face. That's swearing. Yeah. Fucking this and that. Yeah. Okay. Was there anything that led up to that, or was it just immediate like that? Uh, no, there was about a minute, less than a minute, I would say, of discourse before that, but that was just her telling us it was illegal to film, we can't film. Okay. Did she ask you to get out of her office or anything? Yeah, no, we didn't go in the office. No, we're not in the office. We're you know, we, we, stood, we stood right here where her, in front of her barrier is. Okay. So, I mean, and we never she... left this public area. Right. No, I understand. Um... All right, if, I'm just going to ask you guys to step over here. I'm going to talk to her, and we'll do everything we need to do. She's in an office somewhere else. Yeah, okay. I'm going to stand right here. She's not. Yeah, she's Listen to him come. Hmm? I didn't hear it. P-O-X-Trump? Patrol officer. Patrol officer, I get it. Excuse me, dear. Hmm. Roger. 191-176, man. Oh, just interviewing the subjects. Let's, I want to see how they try to get her out of assault with a scratch on your face. Right on two cameras. Right. And about 110 people watching. I I don't know who these guys are. I'll give them a chance to do their job before I pass a judgment. Uh, you got a pretty good scratch on your face, bro. Yeah, I mean, I I prefer not to be uh, assaulted for engaging in a protective. Hello, patrolman. How are you? Good, good. How are you guys doing? I'm uh, not great. Been better. How are, look at you. You got a Christmas smile on your face. It's hard, man. It's, some people are like just like the Grinch. We came. We were doing. We were doing some a story on uh, the Grinch day in the town hall steps. I didn't think I'd actually find her in her office. <laughs> oh man. No, he's got a he's got a department issue. You checking her out, man? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Just teasing.
No Christmas cheer. No. no. I mean, everybody downstairs did. I, I don't even get it. Um, you said you have that on video. Can you pull up the video for me? Yeah, can you just keep rolling? Yep. You want to grab a statement for me? Sure. Have your car for me. Going to get a written statement from you guys um, in regards to the incident and everything like that. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. okay. Um, let's come down to, I believe there's a conference room down here. All right. We can take care of everything in there. So in Connecticut, what does that amount to? Is that simple assault? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of different statutes that I'm going to just review real quick. I, I will tell you this. If she's willing to apologize, I won't press charges. Okay, that's... Very kind of you. I appreciate that. It's Christmas, and the purpose of what we do is to educate folks okay. and assaulting people. Like there should be a lesson learned from that. Okay. But I'm willing. To, if she's willing to apologize, I'd be willing to not press charges. I appreciate that, and I want to ask one question because. I'm sorry. You trying to buy some? Mark, you good? No. Mm -hmm. right. Just because she did ask you to leave several times, you didn't leave. If she were to agree to apologize, which I can't promise that I could make that happen, would you be amicable to just accept the apology and not antagonize or throw it in her face or anything like that? Would that be... No, I'm not going to... Listen, you can tell by the video that we were watching, we're not antagonizing people. We're right. here for the reason that we said we are. And we never no, actually no, went no, into no, her office. That. So no, if we but, went into her office and she asked me to right. leave, then of course there's a barrier, no, so it's not public. So I wasn't breaking any but, laws. But, so here's my concern. No, you were But I'm not going to... If she apologizes, I'm not going to be like, you're stupid, you learned right. your no, lesson. No, 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 but... So typically in a situation like this, if we bring both parties back together... I'm not going to be a jerk. Can flare. You know I'm what not I mean? going to be a jerk. That's, that's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm not going to so, be a jerk to her. Okay, I appreciate that. Um, uh, Lou, we could uh, have a seat right here. You could sure. the written statement real quick. Well, if we're going to apologize, then I won't, I can, then, I won't uh, even do the statement. If she's okay. willing to apologize for striking me, then I can avoid that. It's the holidays. Yes, yes, understood, yeah. You know what I mean? It certainly doesn't make me feel good for her to have to show up on arraignment after Christmas, but we also don't want people to think it's okay to assault people. So you saw the video. What do you think? Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't get to see it. No, no, I'm sorry. I didn't see it. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think it's a, it's a, a kind move over the holidays to allow her to apologize so everyone learns a lesson and avoid charges? Or do you think that in a situation like this, someone should be charged? I have no comment. I just arrived. I don't know all the circumstances of the situation, so I really can't comment. 
I just arrived, literally. I will say it's interesting that we we're, we're doing a, a story on the whole Grinch thing, and then we ran oh, into her. What have three hundred butts sat in these seats? Oh, the play? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a. Uh, they are going to have a Julie Cameron. But I'm also going to have a Julie Cameron. Did we threaten her? Wow. What the Is that the selectman? Oh, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I'm uh, Rudy. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, there's no threats, man. Do you have a name? Uh, I'm me. I'm me. Me? I'm me. I'm me. I'm normally, oh, uh, I'm normally <laughs> a little bit more kind and give my name, but I was. Uh, well, we're pretty open here, so. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't great, or, man. I probably I talked. Look at everybody. his face. Check it out. Oh, my a face. Big scratch yeah. on. Where? Right there. That's from the, the file that she hit him with. On film. I don't Can't know. lie, we, we didn't just quickly edit it to make it look like... Uh, okay, well, I guess you'll take your course of action. That's fine. Well, no, I know you're it, filming me now. It's so the holidays. So what I'm willing to... You're someone of something. So no, I I, no, no, it's not even a, an accusation. Well, it's, it's documented. But what I'm willing to do because it's the holidays is I'm willing to amicably move forward as long as the young lady is willing to apologize for striking me. And then I have no need for charges or anything like that. There you go. Uh, did you talk to whoever? Yeah, we spoke to the lieutenant. He's, he's handling it. I, I was talking to the officer. And I was talking to you, please. <laughs> then I'll refer to you afterwards. Thank you. Lou? I can see where it comes from. Yeah, oh, okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. oh, nothing. nothing. I'll just, I'll stand here and I won't say anything and I'll, I'll speak when you allow me to. Banana I just said go ahead. Oh, I'm good now. Now I'm too. Now I don't have anything to say. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good Cat's night. got my tongue. Makes a little more sense. Banana, your hubby. Look at look at his face. So bananas in here. I just came down here because I heard you were talking, so I want to make sure that I had some backup. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, attitude. I'm the friendliest guy in the world. I don't even get it. <laughs> I think we might be the first people assaulted singing Christmas carols. <laughs> <laughs> you know, try and laugh about it. What's this here. Yes. 
is full of smiles. He is a smile. So the apology's not gonna happen, okay? So we'll get a written statement from you, just detailing, you know, what you guys were doing, leading up to you coming here, what led up to the incident at hand, and then we'll get in the written statement, you just put at the bottom that you would like to press charges for um, the incident. Okay? All right, if that's the choice you'd like to make. That's what we're doing. So if you wanna have a seat over here, we can get going with that. Um, do you have an ID on you? Uh, I will provide it for, uh... For the statement, if you're doing a police for it? Yeah. I'll provide yeah. it for that. Okay. Would you be willing to provide it? Yeah, no, I understand. Uh, All right, so he wrote, <clears throat> on 12-1 at approximately 1.15 p.m., I was filming the town hall looking into the Grinch Day celebration. Everyone was kind until we met a woman in the upstairs <clears throat> selectman's foyer. I started to ask her questions when she told me I could not film. As you can see on video, we did not enter her office, but filmed from the hall. Filmed from the hall. Oh, that's a typo. But filmed from the hall. She grabbed a folder from her desk, swore at me, then struck me with a folder on my face, leaving a clear scratch, breaking the skin. We waited for the police to arrive. Put my email on the... Not Raj, you're going to be S is in Sam, 154. We're finding out quickly that the chat is growing. Ask right. him if he's related to Uncle Fester. Okay. <laughs> Uh, he's she should be terminated no matter what, swatting at and insulting a member of the public that pays her salary yeah, absolutely okay. should be zero dollars. I agree. Chad is just blowing up, guys. Was assured by HR she will be put on administrative leave pending. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. Thank you, Ellie. Love you. No, I have it. Uh, I scanned it already. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're finished. You're gonna ask him for an address. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, no. Yes. Please, please. Okay. We'll talk to Josh on that. I don't. Uh, Josh is his own man. I'm sure we'll be doing a live about this later. To keep it to himself, so that's what my mom taught me. I don't know. Anyway. You want my email, uh, Lieutenant? Or? No, not Lieutenant, but. Because uh, uh, he, he did ask oh, me if. Ask yeah, him? so if you want to put it down, I don't mind. Yeah, if you want to write it down right here. Sure. Hey, Josh. Mm hmm. Can you? Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. I got you. Thank you. He sent me an email. I'll send him out whatever he wants. Oh, okay. Excellent. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jeez, I can't keep up to my chat. Or it's going too fast. Oh, it's growing. Something gone loose there, Job. Right? Right, Betty? Maybe. Maybe not. Roger. Uh, I talked to the town clerk and not so human resources. Why is she saying <laughs> Frankie, you almost got me to say something inappropriate. Stop it. All right, gentlemen, we're all set. We have everything we need. All right, um, so can you so explain to me, like, so how things work from here? What, what What's the next steps for 
Yeah, so she okay. um, received a misdemeanor summons, which is basically a court appearance, okay. it's a court ticket. Um, so she'll be going to court to answer for the disorderly conduct charge, which is the charge appropriate in this specific situation. Um, that will be an arraignment date. Um, basically, she can, you know, enter a plea. She can talk to, you know, the. I'll leave defender, it open. Your, I will yeah. leave this open because yeah. you guys have my information. Yeah. Whether on camera or off, if even the office would take responsibility and issue an apology, okay. then I would be willing to not go forward. My job is, I don't want to see people get hemmed up, lose their job. I understand. And some people like to do that. That's not what yeah. I like to do. So, so it offers on the table. We have. I know I have your email. We have your phone number. Yeah, the as phone well. number on there okay. as well. Okay. You gave right. my email too. We can. Oh, you did. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're okay. I so yeah, we could that. see what we could do. As I tried my best goes, to resolve it with just an apology. I, I understand. No, I understand. Yep. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. All right. Thank you. Sorry that all this had to happen today. Yeah. Uh, Officer Action, you have nerves of steel of to be able to stand. This is a kind of a spot. You have nerves of steel to be able to stand there and take a couple of jabbins. Yeah, it's. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's good to see. I know. I know people are kind of razzing you a little bit. Our audience doesn't always yeah. Yeah. love the police, yeah. Officer Ekstrom, but I do believe that there are good and bad in in everything, not selective to policing. And you can tell them they can give me the five bucks because Officer Ekstrom just smiled. Oh shit! You guys owe Josh five bucks. Yeah. This made him smile. <laughs> Oh, I gotta see if I can get, um, I can even just take your business card since I don't have Lieutenant Extra. I don't have one right now. Okay. Yeah, but you have my name. Okay, who's gonna be the officer in the kit? Would it be Lieutenant? Yeah, I, Lieutenant not, you're an officer, actually. Lieutenant would, okay. Yeah. Um, so is his information on the website upstairs? Um, what website? Are you I mean, on the website, the website um, for the police the station? Yeah, yeah, it should be there. Okay, yeah. all right, perfect. Or you can call the department, you can have his email, his information. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Excellent. Have a good day. We had fun singing with you earlier. Take care. Thank you. All right, guys. Oh, where about let it go? Yeah, Wanna go out this way? All right. Stairs. <laughs> where, where are the stairs, Kavo? Oh, yeah, we can't. I don't want to go. You're going to lose your life in the elevator. Those stairs? We can't. We'll just go out the front. Oh, yeah, the front, too. Yeah. Where's the front? We're going to get it. Let's go out. Wow. Wow. Thank you. All right, thanks, Officer Kaba. You too. So we're done. We don't need anything else. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah, you can call up. There's a case number attached. Okay. Uh, you can call up and get the case number. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right, take I care. appreciate you guys not charging me because normally when I get assaulted, the police like to try and charge me because they don't like me. Yes, I gotta answer the phone. Mm -hmm. right. Take care, guys. Was I charged with a crime? No. No. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be a wise ass on my way out the door. <laughs> I gotta be. Wow. Because every time I usually get assaulted, it's usually them pressing charges against me. What's up, guys? Oh man. That is that is Ridgefield, Connecticut. We'll catch you on the next one. That's the reason I stopped you today.